All right guys, welcome to another math tutorial video. Now this one isn't gonna be so much of a tutorial as an example problem. What I'm gonna be talking about here is the distance formula and midpoints. I teach both of these things at the beginning of the year in my geometry classes, and I like to give my students a problem like this for them to work on their own to kind of combine these two concepts. I'll typically give them a problem such as this one. In a line with endpoints 1, 7, and 7, 13, find the distance from the midpoint to an endpoint. Now, essentially, what this is saying, in fact, is just to find the midpoint of this line right here, a line from 1, 7 to 7, 13, and then from that midpoint, choose one of these endpoints and find the distance to that. So it's really not too bad, uh, not too complex of a problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, write down my endpoints on another board here, and then we're gonna switch boards so you guys can see the problem. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way. And then we have this. We have our endpoints of 7, 13, and 1, 7. I'm going to go ahead and assign one of these to be, I like doing the small ones, x1, y1. I know I wrote them backwards, x2, y2. So first we want to do is we want to find the midpoint. Now the midpoint formula is in fact uh, x1 plus x2 over 2 for the x coordinate. And for the y coordinate, it's going to be y1 plus y2 over 2. So we can plug our numbers in. That's not going to be too difficult, right? So I'm just going to do this right here. Uh, x1 being 1, x2 being 7. So 1 plus 7 over 2. And then y1, 7 again, plus y2, 13. Let me move my camera a bit. Over 2. This will, in fact, simplify to 8 over 2 or 4. And then 7 plus 13 is going to give us 20. 20 divided by 2 will be 10. So that's our midpoint right there, 410. Now, whenever we're doing our distance formula, since it did, in fact, ask for the distance from a midpoint to an endpoint, I know, throwing the question back in there, means that we definitely are going to want to use this midpoint as one of the two parts of our distance formula. We will want to choose one of our other points here as the end point. Now, yet again, I like going with that, those smaller numbers. They just make things a little bit easier sometimes, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and cross this point out. This point makes no difference to us anymore. And I'm gonna write our new point right down here. If you remember, it was 4, 10. Since we got rid of our x2, y2, I'm gonna go ahead and label this one as our new x2, y2. And we can do the distance formula with this. Now, if you remember, the distance formula is the square root of the quantity x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. I know I'm infringing upon one over there. Uh, um, you typically will see it y2 minus y1 here and then x2 minus x1 there. It doesn't matter. We're adding them, so that order is pretty arbitrary. It was just a simple mistake whenever I was writing that. So what we will do is we'll go ahead and put our numbers in. x2 being 4, x1 is 1 squared, y2 is 10, y1 is 7, so 10 minus 1 squared. 4 minus 1 is in fact going to be 3 squared, 10 minus 1, or sorry, 10 minus 7. Don't know why I wrote a 1 there, it's 10 minus 7, right, because y1 is 7. Uh, that's going to give us 3 squared as well. So this actually turned out to be pretty, pretty simple, isn't it? So 3 squared, 9, 9 again, and we get 18. Now we do want to remember all of this is still under the square root. So we have the square root of 18 as our answer. Now that's a perfectly acceptable final answer to me. I don't need you to simplify it into like 4 point something, whatever it may be, you know. So... Uh, I'm fine with the square root of 18 being the final answer to this question. So just to recap what we did, we took our two endpoints, we found the midpoint of the line, which turned out to be 410. We used that midpoint and chose one of our two endpoints. We would have gotten the same answer regardless. And we did the distance formula to find the distance between the midpoint and the endpoint of the line. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to comment down here or go to my blog, mrmathclass.blogspot.com, for any help you may have or any help you may need. 
Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.